They look a little strange. Um, I did my eyes off camera already, but I wanted to do my face on camera and just talk to you guys a little bit, do a little chit chat, get ready with me. These are my favorite videos to watch on YouTube, so I figured why not make one. So yeah, I'm just gonna do my makeup and talk to you guys. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna use is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. And I already moisturized my face and all of that stuff. So currently, I'm actually, if you guys check my older videos, the background looks um, slightly different. I mean, it looks different because I'm living in New York right now at my boyfriend's place um, just for the summer. But I am moving back home at the end of August, which I'm really sad about because it's almost coming. So I have one more year of school left to get my bachelor's degree um, and I'm majoring in accounting. So very exciting stuff. Um, but I'm excited. It's finally my last year and I'm like really happy because I took two years off of school and When I took the two years off, I wasn't majoring in accounting when I first went to school So it kind of backed me up like it took me a little bit longer to get my degree than it usually would So let me back up on my life a little bit and like tell you guys like what I've done um, so when I graduated high school, I first went to Rutgers, which is a state university in New Jersey. Um, and then those first two years, I was kind of undecided, just basically taking gen ed courses. I'm going to go in with this Tarte Maracuja concealer. So yeah, I was just taking gen ed courses, and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I wanted to do business, honestly, but in order to get into the business school, it's very competitive at Rutgers because it's really good. And like... I didn't have a lot of older friends or older cousins that live around here, so I had no idea that schools work this way and that you needed to like, if you got into the school, you need to get into a separate school to do a certain major. So if you couldn't tell, I was like kind of lost. So that's why I decided like after my sophomore year that I should just take some time off of school um, so I can try to figure out what I really want to do. And during that time that I took off, I actually moved to Switzerland because my dad's family lives there. So my dad was like, yeah, why don't you come here? You can learn French um, and sort of just like take a break. Maybe Switzerland will be better for you. So I did that. I moved to Switzerland the August after my sophomore year. So when I was living there, I was taking French classes Monday through Friday. This concealer is actually more of my foundation color than it works as a concealer, but that's okay. I'm just trying to conceal everything right now so switzerland was an awesome experience like i definitely needed to take that time off of school and being in switzerland was really nice because it's a very calm country and i was living in geneva which is also for a city it's really calm and i kind of just like got my shit together i guess a little bit uh but if you've ever been to switzerland you will know everything there is crazy crazy expensive like the minimum wage in Switzerland is four times the minimum wage here. So everything is just like, oh my god, you need so much money if you want to do anything there. So everything is crazy expensive over there. And then I wasn't working when I lived there. So I didn't have money to really do anything. So I was so bored. And on top of that, since Geneva is like, when I say calm city, I really mean it was quite a boring city. <laughs> it's a city. Oh, my shirt's falling down. All right, hold on. Let me move to my next thing. So now I'm going to go in with this Tarte Contour Stick. So, and even though my dad's family lives there, my brother and I um, were actually the only children at the time. Like, he has three other siblings and none of them had kids, like, when I lived there. So it's not like I had any, like, younger family around, really. So... I was pretty bored when I was living there, to be honest. Like, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, but my uncle now has a little baby girl. She's really cute. So yeah, okay. So I can get, like tell you guys about like my experience in Geneva if you want like in another video because it's kind of long, I feel like. So I only stayed in Geneva from August until March. And then in March, I really did not want to move back to my parents' house, like my mom and my stepdad. Um, so I ended up, and they live in South Jersey, by the way. So I decided to move in with a friend in North Jersey, and I stayed there for a while. But it was really a friend that my parents were not. Oh, is it raining outside? I, <laughs> I have the window right in front of me. It was a friend that my parents were not really fond of. I really should not have been living there, but 
you know, you're young, you think you know what's right for you. But it was definitely a cool experience because I was living in Jersey City, which is literally across, is like right across the water from New York, so it was super easy to get there. Like, I was right by the PATH train, and from the PATH train it was like a 15 minute train ride into the city. So yeah, so while I lived there, I got a job working at Macy's in Herald Square, and if you've been to New York, it's like the I'm pretty sure, no I know, it's the biggest Macy's in the world, like there's six different floors or something crazy, um, a lot of tourists like to come visit, so yeah, I loved working at Macy's, it, honestly it was so much fun because I was meeting so many people all the time, and I had customers from like all over the world, which was really cool because like, I'm really into other cultures and other languages, and I already speak Spanish, and I'm like, Kind of, I mean, I know French, like, but not super, super well. So, but when I worked at Macy's, a lot of the people that worked there actually speak Spanish. So I was speaking Spanish more than I was speaking English, honestly. <laughs> um, and a lot of the customers spoke Spanish as well. And then we had a lot of Brazilian customers. So, like, I got to practice Portuguese. And we would have some Arab customers sometimes. So, like, I would say the few Arabic words that I know. But yeah, I don't really know a lot of Arabic. My dad's side of the family is Algerian. So they do speak Arabic or, like... A mix of French, Arabic, Berber. North Africans basically have their own language. But yeah, basically the only word I would practice with the Arabic question would be like, shukran, shukran. <laughs> and that means thank you in Arabic. Uh, so yeah, I really loved working there. I was actually, like before I started working at Macy's, I had really bad social anxiety. Like the thought of having to meet new people freaked me out like if my friend if i was gonna hang out with like one of my best friends are like oh i'm also gonna like invite this person i'd be like why are you doing that to me like i just really had social anxiety and working at macy since there were so many people all the time you have to talk to people all the time otherwise you're not going to be able to sell anything i was selling perfume by the way so if you want to be able to sell, you obviously need to talk to customers and like be engaging and stuff like that. And honestly, just being forced to speak to so many people all the time and new people all the time. It really just helped me with my social anxiety. And like at that point, I really didn't have it anymore after working there for a while. Working at Macy's was definitely a very good experience for me. Like it really helped me grow as a person. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with this Stellar Foundation and I have it in the shade SO1 and SO3. I've been really loving this foundation. It looks so pretty on the skin. Um, so I'm just going to mix these two colors a little bit. So yeah, I definitely don't regret taking the time off of school because I didn't know what I was doing. Ah! I just dropped my stuff. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't want to keep wasting my parents' money when I was going to end up getting some degree that I completely didn't want, wasn't interested in. So yeah, I don't regret it. Um, but after working at Macy's for a few months, my parents came to me and they're like, okay, Sabrina, this is enough. Now you need to go back to school. So I moved out of Jersey City. But yeah, but when I first moved back home to go to school, I was just going to community college, which I think was really good for me because I didn't want to just go like straight into like a big school again. If you guys know anything about Rutgers, it is insanely big. Like there are four different campuses. So there's basically four campuses that are huge. Just to get, I remember I had one class at 630 and it was on the other side. Like I lived on Cook Douglas and the class that I had was on Livingston, but I had it during rush hour, that it would take me like 45 minutes to get to class. And not even it would just take 45 minutes to get to class. If there was buses that came throughout the campus, and sometimes I was the last stop of the bus, that you would literally have to fight your way onto the bus because it would be so crowded. Like as soon as the bus came, like you would go running. Like it was just too, much for me honestly i Rutgers was a lot of fun but i just could not handle it especially like my first year not living at home so yeah but okay so my point was 
I decided I didn't want to like go back to Rutgers so I was just gonna go to community college which is what I did and I only took three classes when I first went back to school to sort of like ease myself taking classes again and then I think it took me like a year and a half and then I transferred to a four-year school um, closer to my house so, yeah and I'm really happy that I did that I have a 3.9 GPA right now so I'm very proud of myself for that all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face with this concealer that um, it's a sample of makeup forever just want to use it up so I don't waste it. We have a 3.9 GPA right now, which I'm very happy about. Um, and I'm excited that it's finally my last year of school. So that way, once this year is over, I can move to New York. So the first year that I transferred to the four-year school, I was, like, kind of living on campus, but also commuting. I was living on campus, but, I mean, I would go home a lot since my house was only, like, 45 it was like 30 minutes with no traffic, 45 with traffic. But this year I'm going to be commuting, so I condensed all of my classes into Tuesday. Like, I am taking three classes on Tuesday, three classes on Thursday, and then one on Wednesday. Um, that way I don't have to commute as often. But I'm a little bit nervous. Like, I like having my classes more spaced out, so that way I can study in between and, like, get my work done. But with commuting, I didn't really have that choice. So all of my classes, my three classes Tuesday and Thursday are back to back to back. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. I mean, one of those classes is public speaking, so hopefully that class won't cause me too much stress. But yeah, so I'm not really looking forward to that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to use this pop crayon as blush. Let's hope this works. I'm just going to put some on my hand first and then pop it onto my cheeks. Oh, pretty. Alright, and now I'm going to bronze up my face. I'm doing full glam today <laughs> uh, with the Chanel Tan de Soleil. I've had this forever. My mom actually used to work for Chanel, like so I used to get some goodies from Chanel, which was fun. Now she actually works for La Prairie, which is, it's a very similar brand to La Mer, like they're both on the same level of expensiveness, I guess. So yeah, they're more of a skincare brand, but they do have some really like amazing makeup products. I really like their lip liners and lip glosses. It just sucks they're so expensive. Oh, you guys have probably seen La Prairie before. It's the foundation that a lot of people were saying, like, what the F, like, $200 foundation or however much it is. So, yeah, that's the brand that my mom works for now. Okay, so I have to go ahead and take a quick little mini break because I do not have central air conditioning in this apartment. So, I can't leave the AC on and record at the same time. Otherwise, it's going to be too loud. So, yeah, the struggles of living in New York. Plus, these lights are making me hot. Um, but okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and set my face with the RNCA powder. Wait, first, make sure to get the creases out of your eyes before you set, otherwise you will set them like that. So this summer I did a little bit of traveling. I went to Toronto for Gen Beauty. I don't know if you guys saw my, follow me on Instagram, you would have seen I posted some pictures and Snapchats. Um, but yeah, that was really cool because... I'm a part of this group called IPCOS, and they invited me to their cocktail party and to the creator day, so like I got to go to the event um, with a bunch of YouTubers there, and it was really cool to meet like other people doing the same thing, and I got to meet Michelle Fawn. I took a picture with her, I posted that on my Instagram, I can like put it up here. But yeah, that was cool. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with... This e.l.f. Uh, what's it called? e.l.f. Fiji Matte. So this product I actually got um, at YouTube Space in New York. If you're a YouTuber and you have over 10,000 subscribers, you're allowed to film at YouTube Space. And they also have like events and informative stuff. Um, so I went to this one event about lighting, like how to make your lighting better for cheaper, that was hosted by e.l.f. And they gave out a little goodie bag of products, which was cool. So this is one of the things that they gave us. So yeah, if you guys are doing YouTube, you should definitely consider joining IPCOS. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with highlighter first before I put on my blush. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this NYX Genius Strobe. And I'm going to go in with this color, I think. Maybe I'll mix these two colors. So the nice thing about living with my boyfriend is that I don't really know how to cook. But like, I don't hate cooking so much, but I don't like cooking like just for myself. And neither one of my parents like the kind of food that I like, so I never cook when I'm home either. So being here, I've been cooking a lot lately. So yeah, I've actually been like kind of enjoying cooking, um, which is cool. 
So tonight I want to try to make like this Chilean dish that my mom makes. It's basically just meat and potatoes, but that's mostly what Chilean cooking is, I think. Because <laughs> um, apparently, I don't really remember, the last time I was in Chile, I was seven years old, I think. But apparently Chile and Argentina have the best meats in the world. And you can't buy that same quality here. Uh, at least that's what my mom says. <laughs> but yeah, I want to try to make... I'll put a picture of it here, or here actually, so you guys can see what I'm going to try to make. If you guys have any easy recipes for me to do, because I'm not really that good at cooking, like I know how to do the basics. So if you guys have any easy recipes, like can you leave them down below for me to try out, because I would really like to do that. Yeah, okay, so now I'm just going to take some highlighter and apply it on my shoulders. So yeah, please leave any recipe recommendations down below that are easy. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I do really want to try to make couscous one day. Um, my dad and I made a video. Like, my dad is such a good cook. It's crazy. I don't know how he learned how to cook so well. So we made a video of like us making couscous together. Basically me just like following him and him making the couscous. But couscous is takes forever to make so I haven't made it yet it's like literally one of my favorite dishes ever so now I'm gonna go in with the naked heat palette and just sort of put some shadow underneath my eyes you know what's funny what I noticed so I don't know if I finished like what I was saying before but like I traveled to Toronto for Gen Beauty um, and people in Toronto wear way more makeup than they wear in New York like I realize people in New York really are not Instagram out very often even if they're going out like no one goes and does all of this really um I guess Toronto is more like LA I'm guessing LA they do more makeup I don't know someone knows tell me but yeah that was like surprising I really don't wear makeup like this often um I like to do it like it's fun for me but I'm way more into natural makeup if I'm gonna go out Plus, my boyfriend is French, so French people don't really ever wear this much makeup. And then my mom is like, even though she sells makeup, she did not start wearing makeup until she basically got the job at Chanel. So like, I never really grew up like with so much makeup. Like, I feel like I'm into makeup so much because of YouTube. Like, if YouTube were a thing, if YouTube weren't a thing and Instagram weren't a thing, I really don't think I'd be like this much into makeup. But I really do. I do love makeup. But yeah, if I'm just gonna go out, I definitely prefer more natural things, which is why I've been loving this foundation. It's like really just natural looking. <laughs> um, so that's why I like it. All right, now I'm just gonna coat my bottom eyelashes a little bit. Ooh, I almost burned myself. All right, I'm gonna go in with this La Prairie lip gloss. You guys can see how good it is. So I don't wanna make this video too long, so if you guys have any questions, just leave them down below and maybe I can do a Q&A in the future or something. Don't forget that I still have my giveaway running until September 15th. So if you haven't signed up for it, sign up for it now. It's the previous video to this one. And yeah, are you guys getting ready for school yet? Let me know down below. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao, bye guys.